everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to work on the compact layout in salesforce if you are a salesforce administrator so you have to know these things right so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and uh, please turn on the bell icon for more updates so let's get it started without any further delay so right now i am in my org so here you can see this is the salesforce org so if you want to change or create compact layout so you have to remember some few points so system default is a by default given by the salesforce you cannot change it you cannot delete it you can clone it this is the uh, functionality is available inside the compact layout but if you want to create your own compact layout so you can create your compact layout right and but you cannot delete that uh, once you created your compact layout right so how to do that let me show you so under the object manager let me show you under the app launcher first of all let's say account let me tell you the account or you can use like lead as well right so just click on this lead open any read record as you have so let's say this one and now you can see in the top this is the compact layout this whole is the compact layout this information let's say and this is the name title company phone and email this these all coming from the compact layout so you can manage based on your requirement so how to do that let me show you here so under here in this you know uh, record lead record you have to do one thing under this just gear icon you have to click on this added object and once you clicked on this added object you can see lots of options inside this you know details about this object lead object right let's say fields and relationship page layout everything you can see one by one here but i'm going to show you this compact layout option right so let me highlight it this is the compact layout right so how to do that just click on this compact layout so here you can see the system default but you cannot see any kind of you know button like edit or delete or clone something like that right once you open it like system default you can see like clone button here or compact layout sound right so under here you can see like name title company phone email as we already discussed these all information coming from you know this system default to here you can see the uh, these all information right but you can clone it but uh, based on the clone it or instead of this clone it you can just create your own because you have to have a control to change this information and change this order based on your requirement right so how to create the new compact layout just click on this uh, new button once you clicked on this, this new button now you will be see like label name and different types of fields available of this you know layout so just click on this one and uh, give the name anything as you want let's say compact layout right and uh, here you can see api name is automatic comes here and which field you want to show in this area so for now you can see the name title company phone email i need name address and annual revenue so how to do that so first of all you have to search like name if you have let, let's say this name address is right annual revenue so i need these three fields inside my you know compact layout but right now you can see like name title company phone email but i need these all information like these three fields so once you saved it just click on this save button and now you can see here you can see lots of option like edit clone delete and compact layout right so just you have to click on this compact layout assignment and just click on this edit assignment and now you can see the primary compact layout so this is the system default so you have to change your your custom layout so here you can see the compact layout i already created this compact layout that's why you can see the option in this drop down so just click on this save button and once you saved it now you just you have to click on this compact layout and immediately you can see the primary is checked this is the compact layout or system default and immediately you can see this drop down you can edit it and you can change it based on your requirement right so this is the prerequisite if you want to create this compact layout in salesforce and how to use that let me show you so once you created your uh, compact layout and make it as a primary and just you have to do one thing here just you have to refresh this page right so instead of refreshing this page just click on this you know profile pic under the profile pic we have 
display density so right now is a combify and now just you have to click on this compact layout so just once you click on this compact layout one pop-up is come here and it's asking like refresh the page now so so just you have to click on this refresh page now and immediately you can see my changes inside my compact layout let's say name addresses and advent revenue if you want to remove some fields you can remove it you can add it based on your requirement let's say I want to add email as well so how to add it so just here you have to drag and drop like this and just save it once you save it just you have to refresh this page and immediately you will be see this email as well so let me clear the cache maybe salesforce contain the uh, cache that's why you can see here right so just click on this profile pic and click on the combify refresh it and now immediately you can see the email field here right so this is the compact layout you can configure the fields based on your requirement inside this compact layout okay so now let me remove it let's say I want to remove this email so how to remove that so just again you have to do one thing under the compact layout just click on this added and just you can remove it from here and click on the save button and again you have to refresh this page and once you refresh immediately you cannot see any kind of you know like email fields here so this is how you can configure your own compact layout in Salesforce without any problem right so based on your requirement you can configure right so this is the way to work on the compact layout in Salesforce so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you like this video please like share comments and please hit the bell icon for more updates you never be miss any kind of updates from my side so please turn on the bell icon and till then bye bye take care thank you for watching